In this video, you are gonna learn all about editing text in Illustrator, specifically in the context of creating wedding stationery and invitations. I have a full course, this is a direct snippet from it, all about how we use the entire Adobe suite, including Illustrator, InDesign, and Photoshop, all for wedding invitations. And we have a free community on Facebook called the Stationery Squad that is linked below in the description of this video that I hope you'll join us. It's free for all stationery designers and full of amazing tips, tricks, tutorials, um, fun live videos, and a lot of helpful information for you. I talked about how text is vector, meaning that Illustrator is an amazing tool for manipulating text. I tend to use this character panel over here. You can access it from window, type, character. And you can put it permanently on your little panel over here so it's always there in your workspace. I have a full video on this that you can access in the link in your download, but basically anything you want to do, you can do here. You can change the text size, the font, the style, um, tracking, which is the spacing between I'm gonna change this. You can also make things all caps, for instance, and you can change to italic if there is an italic option and change the line spacing as well. Once you've set all their options, if you were to type something new and want to apply like this same exact formatting, it's pretty ugly, but if you wanted to, then you could just select your new text box and use this eyedropper tool over here click that and then all the same formatting. It's basically like Format Painter if you're familiar with Microsoft programs. You can also do this with shapes. So if I click this pink shape and then I go over and I drop it into this red shape, it's now red like that. So if you need to copy colors from an image or something, you'll use that eyedropper tool. There are two types of text boxes in Illustrator. The first is where you draw a size to fill an artboard, then whatever text you put in there is going to fill that box exactly. I'll change my spacing back so it's a little bit nicer. It'll fill that box exactly and then it'll cut off at the bottom. So you have to make the box bigger in order to see that additional text. The second way is if you just click to start one, you'll be given a starter box and then you can just keep typing. The text won't automatically wrap, but the box is actually going to adjust to show all of the text that you've typed, but it'll just be on a line. So the difference between these two, you can see in this little circle, this one's white and this one's blue. And if I were to click that one to change it to white, um, it will automatically change, but the overset text that's outside of the box will be lost. So I'll convert that. And then here, if I were to keep typing, et cetera, then the text box is going to expand to allow me to keep type typing that. So instead of keeping these all in one line, it automatically converted those to separate lines when I changed it. And you can use a blue one to change it back. And then when I move and change the size, it'll be down there and automatically wrap for me. I typically use the blue kind just because I'm trying to fit everything onto a defined space, but you'll find ways that you can use the white one as well. If your text is too thin or not printing well, you might want to add a stroke to make it thicker. You just do that up here. You just click the stroke weight and as you can see, it keeps getting thicker and thicker. You don't want to go too big with this because it, it'll follow the curves of the font and sometimes those aren't perfectly clean once you get them out too far. But I usually go with a 0.25 stroke if I need to make something a little thicker and you can change the color of that as well if you want to do like an outline. Of course there are auto alignment features in Illustrator which I use on text and all other elements. Um, you can align a single object or a group of objects either to a selection, which is everything in the selection, a key object which you define, or to the artboard. For instance, if we go with artboard, we just want to center everything and then maybe we want to center it horizontally to all of those different elements will go. So you'd have to group them together if you wanted to center the group as a whole, which it looks like is already done. You can also go to the selection, which means that like if you go to the left, everything will line up with the leftmost version of that selection. I use this if I have a bunch of different text boxes and I want them to line up. And of course you can click into a text box and align that text left, center, or right 
as well. Because these elements are all vector, of course, text, you can scale them up or down as much as you want without losing quality. But next we'll talk about pulling graphics that aren't vector into Illustrator. If you liked the skills learned in this video, make sure you join our monthly membership, Stationary School, to get two 20-minute courses and more every single month. If you're not quite there yet, I also run a private stationary community on Facebook that's free to join. Find the Stationary Squad link in the description of this video.